And that's what I hope you'll think about. Let me tell you how a last rites in the right kind of situation can save everybody a lot of work. Last rites meeting is, like, I'm going to pick on Anthony because I know his name now. I call in Anthony, I say, and I'm his supervisor, and I say, hey man, you know what? Your performance just didn't make it. You know what? You've seen your standards. You know everybody else produces twice as much as you do, or conduct, or whatever it is. I'm going to have to start a, an action that could result in your being terminated. If you're terminated, you can file an appeal, you can challenge it. But that's my obligation as a supervisor. I went to that briefing, Mr. Wiley did, and he told me that's what I got to do. But I'll tell you what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to give you 45 days, 60, 90, if you fill in the numbers, to find yourself another job. But the agreement is, if you don't find another job in 60 days, you will voluntarily resign. If you do that, find a job, have a clean record, I'm, I'm going to keep you on full salary. So you got full 60 days. You don't have to. If you want to come to work, you can to use the copy machines and all that. If you don't want to come to work, that's okay too. But on day 61, if you've not found yourself another job, I will implement your voluntary retirement. Now I know some of you are going, wait a minute, I got all kinds of problems. First, I'm paying for not doing any work. Well, hello, he hasn't done any work for five years. 